Special Counsel Jack Smith speaking for the first time after a federal grand jury indicted former President Trump on 37 counts, including willful retention of national defense information, conspiracy to obstruct justice, and false statements. We have one set of laws in this country, and they apply to everyone. In the unsealed indictment, Trump is accused of improperly storing top secret documents, quote, in a ballroom, a bathroom and shower and office space, his bedroom and a storage room. Prosecutors say in July 2021, during a meeting with a writer, publisher and two members of his staff at his Bedminster Club in New Jersey, Trump showed a plan of attack prepared for him by the Department of Defense. Weeks later, Trump showed a representative of his political action committee a classified map related to a military operation. My office will seek a speedy trial in this matter, consistent with the public interest and the rights of the accused. This video is brought to you by BirchGold.com. BirchGold.com. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you this. Former president uh, recently issued a warning from Mar-a-Lago, and he quoted, um, our currency is crashing and will soon no longer be the world standard, which will be one of the greatest defeats, frankly, in 200 years. Some experts believe that there's a serious threat to the future value of the U.S. dollar because of inflation, uh, the deficit spending, and also the increase in the national debt. One asset that has withstood famine, war, economic upheaval, dating all the way back to Jesus Dib in the Bible is gold. And you can own it in a tax shelter retirement account with the help of Birch Gold. Birch Gold will help you convert an existing IRA or 401k, maybe from a previous employer, into an IRA in gold. And the best part is that you do not have to pay a penny out of your pocket. Text Brandon to 989898 and claim your free information kit on gold. Think about this. In March of this year, when the banks faltered, the stock market faltered and gold surged. Birch Gold can help you find how to protect your savings with gold. Birch Gold is an A-plus rated business with the Better Business Bureau and thousands of satisfied customers. Text Brandon to 989898 and get your information kit today. They're the experts, not me. Text Brandon to 989898. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell to get notifications anytime I go live make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment on the Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, welcome back to the Tatum Show. This Trump indictment thing is out of control. This is very interesting because I really wish that we could see through the minutia of politics to get down to the bottom of what happened and the truth or is this a complete farce or could this be uh, something legitimate let me tell you why i'm not convinced that this is a legitimate indictment against trump legitimate let me read to you some of the charges or the, in this case, all of the charges against Donald Trump. Together, they carry a 75-year sentence. That means he would be dead in prison if he were to be found guilty. Let me read you some of the charges. And, and, and immediately after I read you these charges, there's going to be a person's name that pop up in your head, and you're going to understand why this appears to be a witch hunt and not a legitimate investigation. Charges against Trump include retaining classified documents conspiring to obstruct justice withholding a document or record corruptly concealing a document or record concealing a docu document in a federal investigation scheme to conceal false statements and uh, representation i literally want to cuss thinking about the fact that Donald Trump is being indicted for the exact thing that Hillary Clinton did. Hillary Clinton had a server in her house that the United States government did not know about while she was the attorney general or secretary of state. I'm sorry. She literally had a server in her house sending and receiving top secret and classified documents. And when Congress put out a subpoena for her to come and testify 
as to whether or not she was sending and receiving classified documents, she not only lied about it, she destroyed documents. <laughs> Let me just say this real quick. And I'm not getting Trump off the hook. But if Trump go to jail over this, if he did it, Hillary Clinton should be up under the jail. Think about this for a minute. She had a server on which she was sending and receiving classified documents. That alone should put you in prison. She had a person develop and create a server in her house. So she know, knowingly and intentionally attempted to divert communications from the government's knowledge onto a server at her house. Now, think about this. The United States government did not put that server in her house. Who did it? It was an individual without a security clearance that was not working for the United States government. So that means if a person has control of a server, that means he has access to all the documents and information on that server. And if that person doesn't have a security clearance and is uh, available to and exposed to classified documents, which that person should not be able to view, the person responsible for sending and receiving that information is going to go to jail over it. And the person who's observing classified information without a clearance knowingly and intentionally is going to jail as well. That man didn't go to jail for that server in, her, in, in Hillary Clinton's basement, and neither did Hillary Clinton. How is that possible? And then when she was subpoenaed, she obstructed justice. She smashed her computer blackberries with, la with, with hammers. And she, and she used bleach bit software, or however you want to explain it, to delete everything on her computer on the server, wiping her computers and server. And then when she actually was made to produce documents, they realized she deleted 30,000 emails. And she claimed, it's not evidence, she claimed that her lawyers, who did not have a security clearance, went through and separated her personal emails from her professional government emails. These people don't have a security clearance, so they cannot get exposed to top secret or classified documents. She not only exposed them to it, she authorized the exposing of them to these documents. They didn't go to jail and she didn't go to jail. And they just what? Took her word for it? it it's it's, it's mind-blowing to me that Hillary Clinton could do all of that in a more egregious way because she not only had to serve it there, she had to serve it there for nefarious purposes. She had to serve it there so she can do government business and her personal business dealings without the government knowing about it, without it being on, on public record. The, the Chinese and other countries was tr were trying to interfere and hit that server. They were attempting to break into the server. You would argue that some of that documented information was stolen from us, from the United States government. Even in Benghazi, this fool was communicating with a man who did not work for the United States government in Benghazi for her own personal interests. But yet the Americans in Benghazi were saying, we need reinforcements. We need help. The situation is getting worse here. She avoided like, I don't know how many thousands of emails they were sending. I think it was hundreds, like 600 emails they sent requesting backup, reinforcement. She completely neglected the Americans in Benghazi while simultaneously communicating with a guy who wasn't working for the government for her own personal interest in Benghazi. How she didn't get put to death is beyond me. If that's not treasonous, I don't know what it is. The Clinton Foundation getting hundreds of millions of dollars from foreign leaders and governments and then all of a sudden she's not in a position of power in the government. She gets no more donations. They shut down the 
the organization. They, their donations dried up. We got a, evidence right here. It's going to come out soon that Joe Biden was in a pay-to-play bribery scheme while he was vice president. Right here, Marjorie Taylor Greene, I'm going to play the clip. Is Are we out or what? I can't hear anybody. Are we offline? A bribery scheme. We're good. A bribery scheme where it says the FBI says Biden was paid $5 million by Burisma in a pay-to-play scheme. Listen, if that dude don't go to prison and Trump is getting indicted, I, I, there is no justification for this. There's no justification for it. We saw him talk about the loan guarantees to Ukraine. And that attorney that they claimed was corrupt was investigating Burisma, which his son was on the board of. And he said, if you don't fire this person, we won't give you a billion dollars of loan guarantee. It wasn't about corruption. It, it seems to me it was that they were investigating his son and would have found out about his corrupt dealings. But he wanted to get the person out that could have investigated him by bribing them with money. And the bribery took hold because they fired the investigator and they and then Biden gave them the money. That is called pay to play. His son can't even speak the language. No experience in energy. We all see his laptop videos. He over there with prostitutes snoring coke off girl booty cheeks. And somehow he getting paid millions. And Biden getting paid millions. And now you wonder why Biden giving Ukraine all this money. We don't know what they're doing with that money. They could be using a fourth of it for the war and the rest of it is going to Zelensky pocket so he can shut up and not tell the truth about what business dealings they were having in Ukraine. He's compromised. He's not going to jail. Somebody, somewhere, explain this to me. The Trump lawyers quitting, resigning, is very interesting. And I wonder if there's a lawyer that's listening to me on the radio that understands lawyer lingo or lawyer protocol which means that I wish somebody can explain to me why would lawyers do this right after an indictment? Is it because they really don't want to work with Trump or they are not equipped to be the best to fight this fight for Trump? I, I just wish that Trump or the attorneys will come out and just say it. Why do we have to play the guessing game? Trump, I think Trump owe it to us, unless he said it and I didn't see it. Trump owe it to us to say, it's nothing wrong. Like, this is protocol for lawyers. Like, those lawyers are an incredible law firm, but I needed to hire a bigger law firm that can handle this particular case. Now, he said it in a roundabout way that sound like, I don't know. He said, he said, he said here, he said um, that he appreciate them. And then he said, I want to thank Justin and, and John Riley, Ra Raleigh, uh, for their hard work, but they were up against a very dishonest, corrupt, evil, and sick group of people, the likes in which we've never seen. What in the f does that mean? What does that mean, though? Are you telling us that you needed a larger firm because the lawyers that you had were too small to handle this? Like, can you explain that to us and not just say they're very dishonest, corrupt, evil, and sick? That don't tell anybody anything. So then it leaves somebody like me questioning, is this, what does this even mean? And then you go and get a lawyer that represent Paul Manafort, which was Trump's campaign chairman, who went to jail. He pled guilty to foreign lobbying, witness tampering, and tax fraud and conspiracy. Like, what does this mean? But, you know, we, we always get left in the dust. And, and, you know, people try to make excuses. Like, let me tell you something, y'all. 
if I were to get indicted over something crazy, which I have, I, I don't even have enough life experience to get indicted over something that crazy. But if I were to get indicted under something crazy, I, uh, it, if I could not tell you the details, I have to tell you that I can't tell you the details because of something specific. If I get indicted for something, I owe it to you to give you a thorough explanation of what's happening to me. And if I can't disclose everything, I have to tell you, I cannot disclose this, this, and this, and this, or these categories because it's, it's the way the legal system works. And I have to explain that to you so you guys have uh, clarity as to what's happening to somebody whom you trust. I don't get to just say, oh, man, they all dirty, man. They just dirty. That's why. That's, that's it. They dirty and... And y'all know I'm innocent. It's like, no, nah, no, nah, that's not enough. We don't know if you're innocent. We believe you're innocent. We don't know nothing. Explain to us how your lawyers left. Explain to us why you chose the lawyer you chose that represented a man who went to, who got, who went to prison. Because they don't seem like they track record that good with the United States government. I just, it just bothered me. It just bothered me. And, you know, some people are okay with it. Oh, no, he don't have to explain anything. It's like, no, nah, man, you owe it to us, man. We donate money. We support you. We, we vouching for you. We kicking down doors for you. Like, at least we need to have a, a spokesperson or somebody come out and give a thorough explanation to put us at ease because it looked like they left you because you ain't got no chance.